The first learning objective in section 5.3 is to interpret data organized in a two-way or a contingency table. Those are two different ways of labeling the same type of table that we're given here. A recent survey asked questions about one's level of happiness and their health. The results are given in the table below. So you can see that we asked the observational units here in this particular survey to state what their health was. The options were either poor health or good health, and also to state their happiness status. And the options were not too happy, pretty happy, or very happy. And the values in this two-way table tell us the number of observational units that fell into these different categories. So part one says, how many people were surveyed? We need to figure out the total number of people by adding up all the values in the different cells here. So I brought up a little GeoGebra window, and I'm going to add 43 plus 30 plus 61 plus 189 plus 22 plus 122, and I get 467. That's the total number of individuals that were included in the study. Next, how many very happy people were surveyed? So in order to answer this question, I need to add up just the people in the very happy row. So that's the 22 plus 122, and that gives me 144. And finally, part three says, what proportion of people are in poor health? Notice that this question is asking for a proportion, not a count or a frequency. So in order to compute a proportion, we need to take the number of individuals that we're interested in and then divide by the total number of individuals that were in the survey. So let's first figure out how many people are in poor health. In order to do that, I will add up the numbers that are in the poor health column, 43 plus 61 plus 22, and that gives me 126 individuals. And then to compute the proportion, I'm going to take that 126 and I'm going to divide by 467, which is the total number of individuals that were surveyed. And I get a proportion of 0 0.2698.